What's up, everybody? Kafka here, and we hit 100 in Diablo 4 Season 4. We finally did it today. We only had a day and a half to play, then we took a trip, and we were back today, and now we're back on the grind, ready to go. We have a lot of work to do, but I want to show you where we're at when we get to level 100 and cut you know my build and what I'm working towards. So being level 100, obviously, we're not doing crazy damage. This is a level... 50 pit, level 50 pit. So I just want to take you through this real quick. And I think talk about coming. Some of the things that I found out is man, master crafting, because I did the PTR right, and it was really easy to master craft your gear because you got like free mats and free gold. Gold is crazy. I don't know. Is everyone doing Tree of Whispers to get gold? Because that's that the fastest way. I haven't sold any items yet. Maybe if you get something really rare, you could actually like a ton of money and, and do it that way, but is trio whispers the fastest way comment down below in the section what is the fastest way because man i have no idea right now i'm always needing gold i want to make a lot of different builds but i have to just focus on this one because i don't have enough gold to do that and i already noticed i'm not, i'm running out of veiled crystals i did so much leveling i thought i got so many veiled crystals but now I'm selling everything because I need gold, but now I'm running out of Veiled Crystals. So to comment down below, what do you guys think around that? But also around Master Crafting, Master Crafting in the PTR, again, just gives you so much more damage. So it is going to be really important if you want to see your damage increase to get your gear Master Craft. So the pits are going to be like, we're going to live in the pits, get all your glyphs to level 21. That's like my plan is to get all my glyphs to 21, the ones that I want, because it is a lot faster. I don't know if you guys noticed that it is way fast. You don't have all my glyphs maxed, obviously, because I just got 100, but I don't think it's going to take very long to do that, especially if you get some of those good dungeons, they'll run fast. So... A couple things while I'm playing this pit, you'll notice is I'm always pressing my ice blades. Ice blades is what's making my mana rise um, a ton. So I always press that. I save flame shield when I can for an oh crap moment, right? So especially on bosses. And then when you're fighting bosses, the idea is to make them stagger. When they stagger, that's when you do most of your damage. So that's how you're going to take them down. You're not going to really take them down and staggering them. So we should be at a boss here. Let's go and see. Level 50 boss. It's Bramble. So you'll notice not doing much to him, right? So wait to the stagger. I like to save my ultimate from there. It's almost up again. So that's not bad. But you'll see in the stagger, it does a lot more damage here. Because that's when all the abilities, like your Paragon Tree, actually work. So we're going to work again to stagger him. Always pressing ice blades, dodging as much as I could. So he staggered again, which is good. Got scared there, pressed flame shield. Don't want to die, but oh, got hit in the poison. Got a flame shield out. He's going to be staggered, so we should be getting him to finish him off there. That's the finish. Pretty good for just getting level 100, able to clear a 50 pit. We're going to be working our way up for sure. For sure. So, all right, let's take a look, see what we got in the gear and maybe what we wish we had. Obviously, we would love a Shaco, but I'm not going to have that right away. I do like the undying aspect on the on the headpiece. It does work out well. I have my armor around 1100. I didn't do the math yet. So, we are getting 85% from equal levels mobs currently, um, but the mobs are higher level now. So, so the armor does need to go up so we'll, we'll do some calculation that and be a later video but uh, one thing i'm missing on here and i try to re-roll it but i spent all my money was for intelligence i would like mana per second that will also help out with mana i got mana per second with a greater affix on the chest piece i want plus two to defensive skills so i don't have to click flame shield cross nova and teleport so i save three skill points in the paragon tree because this build is very very skill point <laughs> there's a lot of skills you could use which is kind of cool for a build different things you could use for tempering i want dodge chance and lucky hit Th this is not what i would want i'd want armor i just brick the item and I, and I needed defense skills in mana per second but i would want to have more armor and then <clears throat> to uh, damage to immobilize or lucky hit to immobilize or lucky hit to slow or something like that so that would be better um, then i have intelligence attack speed and crit crit and attack speed are beautiful on there that's exactly what you want on the gloves intelligence is bad but i'd rather have ranks to frozen orb for sure so i just don't have that yet damage to cold would be better on here uh, freeze duration is not terrible on the pants 
And we got intelligence, max health, and armor, freeze duration, and total armor. We do have Esu's heirloom with the greater fix on the movement speed after killing an elite. I do love that. I think that's really, really good. But it's not a 30% one, so one day we will have to change that out. So just so you this weapon I found is actually awesome. It has two greater effects, one intelligence, one damage, and then critical strike damage on it too. So I think that's a really good item. I would change vulnerable damage for flat damage on the greater effects if I was being picky. <laughs> damage to close enemies is good, but I was thinking about changing it to cold because on some of these bosses, I do not like being close to those pit bosses. <laughs> so they uh, they have some things that make it a little bit harder if you're up close, uh, up close to them. And then chance to cast frozen orb is a must 50%. I did get the first upgrade on that, which was nice on the master crafting. So much work to do on that. Uh, this one, Factor Winter Glass, was okay in terms of the lucky hit chance and then the 47% of cat chance to spawn a conjugation when it explodes. But only this got lucky and upgraded on four to conjugation mastery, where if it already had to, it would be at three right now. And then that what gives you mana per second. So this number right here should be around 20 to 23 would be like really good. That would increase that number a ton. It would probably be at 23 if I did have three ranks to Conjugation Mastery on it. So <clears throat> didn't get the one I wanted yet on that either. So hopefully that happens soon. Could actually get three. So if you get one of a greater effect, so it will be three flat. Then you could upgrade it. 25%. So that'd be 100%. So you could get, oh, seven ranks? Seven ranks? Yeah, seven ranks of this. Got the ring, uh, resource cost reduction. That's going to go away. Damage to close enemies probably going to go away too. So don't look at those. I do like critical strike. This needs attack speed over maximum health. Attack speed is very hard to get. So that's the the items and then the last item is uh attack speed uh, vulnerable damage and then i did use resistance because i was light on resistance i probably don't need that now i just switched to crit on that as well i like the ice blades cooldown and the co cold damage ice blades very important to keep your mana up so so you can see when i press ice blades my mana went up to 18 so sometimes i'll have four or five ice blades up so my mana regeneration will go up a ton so then i'll cast some frozen orbs. My mana regeneration is 25 now, 27. So that's my conjugation mastery. So that's what that does. Pretty cool to see that in action. So that's what's on the bar. You could see unstable currents, flame shield, ice armor, teleport, frozen orb, and ice blades. So I can just keep my left click frozen orb and my right click ice blade. So I know to remember to click them both. I just click them both pretty much together, even because it always needs to be used. And then I use frost nova because this thing procs all the time, helps with the dagger as well on the bosses. And then for firebolt enchantment because we want burning damage on on our on our dudes so i i didn't go through all the aspects uh, a couple things to point out on the aspects is asus for ferocity is on here only for the extra attack speed because it's hard to get attack speed as a sorg and then frozen orb explodes in its destination for 120 percent of its damage so that is actually really good to put on a, a 200 staff that's why we have the 200 staff it is way better than conceited or storm swell or anything like that do have some of these other things i like lucky hit stuff because we have very high lucky hit in this build um and we're not even maxed out to where we, where we can be so even have the ice blades do more vulnerable so you don't have to worry about doing anything with vulnerable because ice blades or your lightning spear from casting unstable incurrence is going to give you that so it actually works out to be really good all right so skill tree, real quick, a couple things I'll point out. I'm not going to go over it in depth, but I will point out a few things that are really important. Uh, first, <clears throat> when you're going to Frozen Orb, you're using Destructive Frozen Orb because I just talked about it. You don't need things to cast Vulnerable. Your Ice Blades and your Lightning Spear are going to do that just fine for you. You are getting Elemental Dominance. I am not using any points into Flame Shield, Teleport, or Frost Nova, but I'm using those abilities just because I have the chest piece that gives me two to defensive skills. If I had a Shaco, I wouldn't need that. So that's okay. We'll get one eventually. <laughs> Glass Cannon. Glass Cannon, got a put point there, and Element uh, Attunement. You need as much Lucky Hit as you can get, so uh, Precision Magic is at 15%. Maxed out Summoned Ice Blades because we have so many Ice Blades up, and then your cooldowns are just going faster and faster, which is beautiful. Invoked Lightning Spear, 
Conjugation Mastery. Love to get this. See, so yeah, you can see how the mana regeneration is times 10 for each act of Conjugation. It goes up a ton. I'm going to show that again. I'm going to show it again. It's at 17, 18. And then I start casting my Frozen Arms. 20, 30, 32 I got it to. Oh my gosh, 32 mana per second. Let's go. What's going on? So you've seen it there. Uh, then we do one Devouring Blaze. And then uh, these are all maxed out permafrost, ice touch, frigid breeze, and horror frost. Very good. And then come our uh, Esu's ferocity, so that extra attack speed, which is kind of a waste, but it's it's actually the best you could get. Maybe if I had all attack speed on everything. Remember, I said I want attack speed the greater fix. Maybe, maybe we wouldn't need it, but as of right now, we unfortunately need it. So. Because we need to cast a lot of frozen arms fast. We need frozen arms fast, 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 fast. fast. So that helps. And for the Shenashal, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Season three, what up? <laughs> All right, Paragon Tree. Let's go with the Paragon Tree. This is what I have. This is what I liked so far. I've been playing around with it. Not a ton, but it's working. I, I think I could get up. I, I think I get up to level 70 pit with this build. We'll see. But we got Winter. And then we go into the ice fall tree. We got enchanta and control. That's when the boss staggers. That's why controls really winner's just really good. Winner's so good. I love winter. I like the season winner. We actually hate winter. We love the summer, but <laughs> we like the winter glyph. Controls there. And then uh this was in the enchantment mastery. And then we got destruction, which destruction's actually doing really work. That still work. I almost got that max, so. That was in the Burning Instinct tree. Then we got Flame Feeder. That's in the Searing Heat. And then we want Conjure. Because the Ice Blades will last longer, get more mana, cast more Frozen Orbs. Very good. Frigid Fate. 30% bonus. Love that. And then Exploit. So that's the current build that I'm running. This is uh, obviously some room for improvement, especially around the glyphs, the master crafting. There is a lot of work to be had and will be done. So make sure to stay tuned. Check out Kalfka, like, and subscribe to the video. We got plenty of builds coming up. Look, comment below what builds you want to see. Uh, I want to create a fireball build really, really bad. I didn't do that in the PTR and I, I regret it because I think fireball is pretty freaking awesome. So we're going to run that and then uh, we'll run some other cool things uh, as well. What we do, what the idea is, I'm just cutting some gear away that I, I think that's going to make a good build for that and, and slowly upgrade that while I have this upgraded. Because if I switch completely to that, remember how I said master crafting was really really hard to get so i need to build my gear up on this character for another build that's like way to do it i guess this season we'll see so thank you guys for watching again please like and subscribe to the video and i will see you in the next one thank you